Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man uh, Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with nothing but rookies and it's going to be fun. It's time to destroy an alien relay for full disclosure. When I reloaded uh, the game after playing the last time, uh, apparently the last autosave uh, was before the missions were rolled. So uh, this is a new set of missions, unfortunately. Uh, we still need to counter show of force this time. We don't have the side trip with uh, psionics, uh, which is a bit of a bummer because that means we gotta bring blue screen rounds instead of focusing to fight only against um, sectors and the like. Uh, but it is what it is. So, for a bit of intel, which we could use, uh, we need to destroy an alien relay. And. Uh, the decision that I came up with is let's bring Roby and Diva, uh, Shim, uh, Shimrod actually, I have just read uh, that he would like his character to be called Shimrod. Alright, sh um, apparently I can't uh, edit the nickname, well too bad it's Shinrod for now, I will do it in the character pool. Anyways, we bring uh, our Shredder Gun with us for the first time, uh, two times blue screen rounds. Uh, the lure has uh, been quite successful so far uh, and I'm almost contemplating removing one of the Mimic Beacons in its stead and maybe bringing a uh, medkit with me, but I still need to figure out what the perfect uh, setup for us is going to look like. Later in the game it's potentially blaster bombs. So having having the explosive power of blaster bombs. For now, we gotta deal with whatever we have, and it's not much. Uh, let's be honest. Let's hope we can get through that because show of force, if that comes uh, through, would be a real deal breaker. Okay, we just landed on the middle of a graveyard, uh, and this is a small map. It can be an advantage or a disadvantage. Uh, the advantage is certainly we won't need to move far. The disadvantage is we're potentially going to run into many, many, many enemies at once. Divert moves up. Takes a bit of an aggressive position. Got it. Wait, wait, wait. There was another pack up there. I just saw another pack here. One with quite a bit of armor. So if I had to take a guess, it was something along the lines of a shield bearer. Got it. Trying to move all the way over because there is high ground on the right hand side. Okay. No one moved. Beat, beat. Which means we're potentially better off to just abandon that right hand side here. So yeah, this is going to be our scout. I don't want to go in too close. These guys are still a problem because we can sort of see them. Okay. Diva can currently see every everyone, which is not what we want. Roger that. Let's move over here. And let's get this party started, shall we? Is this your blue screen rounds? Yes. What a coincidence. Time to kill the first codex.
Forty percent. I think we're just going to work with the Mimic Beacon. Alright, time to get that guy down. He's now standing in the open, which means we can finish him. Let's just put the Mimic Beak in there instead of right in front to pull the other pack. Four more turns. Can't fully move up to here. But this here might trigger the pack. Yep, it does. We still got another Mimic Beacon, which I think we can aggressively use. I would like to kill that Codex if possible. What's the chance of hitting the Codex? Uh, only hmm, not very good. Can't move too far in and we would lose the high ground bonus. All right, team working. Trying to get that, uh, that encounter done with the least amount of uh, resources and it's not not that easy 60% unfortunately a miss that's that is disappointing I want to focus on the codex Two decent shots that could have hit, unfortunately did not, cost us both of our teamworks. In the meantime, second Mimic Beacon hopefully saves the day. It worked. Now, without any further uh, Mimic Beacons, and unfortunately also without the help of the Lost, apparently the lure in this particular mission was complete waste. But we still got time.
There is still room, but it's unlikely that there is another pack right there. 70% isn't bad either. Yeah, maybe we should just give him a hard time from up here. Alright, reloading. Seventy percent shots. I'm telling you guys, seventy percent can miss more often than one would think. Enemy is still up. They're backing up. Advance. Okay, it also shows us where the next pack is located, somewhere back there. Explosion does not trigger loss, so we're definitely without the loss in this uh, in this mission. Advanced hair trigger is good. I like it. Let's try to hit the shield bearer. Nope, didn't work. Could jump down, should we, is the question. I don't want the shield bearer to team up with any other stupid enemy. Good, that's the perfect preparation to hopefully kill him. Very good. Let's rock. Moving, to Moving to the high ground uh, right after this one. Full withdrawal and then we're taking the high ground here. Time for a good reload and to kill this. Good, that worked reasonably well. Menace one five, we confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Just because I can't really use it later. If there is someone, and if loss could be coming this would help us good something or someone is coming closer no, no way. Ooh, this is going to suck. Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's make sure to take it out this time. This is the shot we've been waiting for. Take that thing down before it has a chance to run. Miss. Oh boy, this is going to be so bad. And we're nicely clustered up up here. So the first thing I would like to do is get back, D-cluster, and there is another trooper. You can see him right standing right there. Good time to reload whilst we still can. Yep, there is definitely a trooper that's going to come into the mix next turn. Moving out. Hardly did
Gotta kill that other viper there. Okay, so this is out of line of sight from uh, the Viper King, which means he needs to move. Still out of line of sight, and hopefully we can kill the Viper. Okay, good. That means no poison, at least. And he cannot see anyone directly, if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunately, more Edwind are pouring in. Okay, we can... Some of us can see the Viper King. And that means... We gotta fight him. Yeah, I think we need to focus on the Viper... Hmm, hard to tell. Should I go for Overwatch back here, reload Overwatch, or are we going to try to take that 66% shot, which has a 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, actually around a 50% chance to immediately kill. I think we're trying to do that. Uh, this is less damage. Okay, worked out. Same deal over here, but the Purifier is not that dangerous really so reload overwatch now here we do have a problem we can't really get out of uh, this predicament so let's take the 80% shot and hope hope we hit him again purifier not that dangerous Reload. He's, sh he's going to shoot his icy breath up here. Don't want that to hit all of us. So it's time to spread out. Interesting combination of fire and ice. We're green to go. All right, he takes some damage. That's good. Again, new reload, and let's hit him. Okay, we have isolated him. Let's do this. On Overwatch. Eyes where is the where is the king? It is somewhere down here. I would guess... No, it's right here. Okay, so how do we deal with that? Do we have explosives? Anything? No. Okay. That's primitive. Good. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Could theoretically jump down there. Hmm. It's a bit of a stall, mate. But he's a formidable opponent, so I'm not going to smack talk and uh, pretend that this is going to be easy. It's not. Let's use the chance for everybody to fully reload. Come get some. Come on it. Overwatch. One thing that we can do is we could triple Overwatch and then essentially 
let him move into uh, into the line of fire and hope that enough overwatch shots will hit. I think from an action economy standpoint that's almost our best bet. Shimrod. Good, in which case you gotta get Divert into a position where he and the Viper King go for a little dance. Alright, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. That's a hit, that's a hit. That's another hit. I think we got him. Yeah. Could we maybe completely get him? Could we maybe completely get him? Alright, Roby, it is now in your hands. 97%. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the first of the giants has fallen. Thankfully. Gotta use line of sight to your advantage, guys. I'm always saying you gotta use line of sight to your advantage. We were ready, we had that overwatch trap. I'm pumped because that's actually a nice achievement to flawless the mission and to to uh, funnel the AI into a way of acting how you want to do it. So this, this was uh, one of the fights that I'm actually quite proud of. Moving down there, being out of line of sight, he saw us whilst moving down, so that triggered the movement. Um, I knew that I was out of line of sight for him, so the only thing that he could do was moving into line of sight, and he moved into a position where all three of our overwatch shots were ready. They hit him, and he just took so much damage. It's only a matter of time before we regain control of the planet. Commander, having successfully recovered one of Dr. Valen's genetic... Look at that, Viper King. I am eager to begin conducting an autopsy as soon as possible. It is my hope that by following her own research notes, I will gain an even greater understanding of just how she managed to accomplish these rapid changes. You have done nice, 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 nice. If we can uh, get the vipers, uh, the viper suit, that would be helpful. It's a free uh, crowd control with a frost uh, breath. And on top of it, the stats are quite interesting. Wow, what a nice mission. What is the problem of the assassin? Reading you loud and clear. Good. We would be ready to make more contact here, but we don't have the necessary uh, contacts yet. Intel could still get more. Alien alloys were fine. Avenger power. Hmm. I mean, Avenger power is never bad. It's a useful. It's a useful option for us to have. Because it will free up more of uh, our engineers. The question is, do we want to go for like two or three Avenger power or gain more intel and just fully commit? Very soon we can purchase more items and we could expand. Hmm. Let's go for the power for now. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the avenue. Well, that already answered the question because next uh, next stop is effort. going to be this here. Alien facility and it's being guarded by <sighs> none other than the Archon King. If there is literally one uh, ruler that is even worse uh, than what we've seen um, recently. It's the Archon King. So let's hope for an execute on him. 
and kill him. If you like what you've seen, uh, leave a comment uh, down below and I will see you in two days. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.